Welcome to the final part of building a Pokemon card in React Native. In this video, let's render multiple Pokemon cards. Once again, we will pick up where we left off. For step 19, define the Pokemon details for three other Pokemon and pass them in as props to the Pokemon card component. Now this data can be anything you want. So let me copy paste the data I have. We have Squirtle, Bulbasaur and Pikachu. All objects have the same properties with different values. We can invoke the Pokemon card component three more times, but pass in newly defined objects as props. We have Squirtle data, Bulbasaur data, and finally, Pikachu data. If we save the file and take a look at the UI, we can see Charmander and the second card Squirtle being rendered. However, when we try to scroll down to other cards, it is not possible. This is because the view component is not scrollable by default. To fix this, for our 20th and final step in this section, let's add a scroll view component. Make sure to import it from React Native. If we now take a look at the UI, all our cards can be seen. The type badge has an emoji and a border color based on the Pokemon type, which looks really nice. Let's make sure to render our app with different device dimensions and orientations to make sure it's not too bad. In the terminal, press Shift I and select iPad Pro 6th generation. You can see the UI still looks good. It can be better, but for now it works without breaking. Next, go to app.json and change the orientation to default. Now, if we press R to restart our application and rotate the device, we see our card still renders without an issue. All four cards are rendering as expected. I hope this exercise has helped you apply all the concepts you've learned so far in the series. Please leave a like if you're enjoying the content and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more React Native tutorials.